Hello and welcome to Coaching Champions. I'm Paul Anders Søgaard and I'm on a mission to help you transform your life and those around you. This video is about presentation skills. Quite often I get clients to ask me to help them with their presentation skills. And in this video, I'm going to take you through some of the skills and some of the techniques that you need to develop to make sure that you can deliver an excellent presentation. First of all, make sure that you research your audience and the topic that you're going to talk about. You need to know your topic inside out and you need to know what are the key messages that you want to tell your audience about. And I'll suggest that you have, say, three of those. Secondly, you also need to know about your audience. What do they know? What may they not know? And what would you like them to know? So you've got to make sure that you have a full understanding of what level they are at in relation to the topic that you are presenting. And finally, you need to think about what is it actually you want your audience to know? What are the really important aspects of your talk that you want them to take away from your presentation? The next thing you need to do is to practice the presentation because you need to develop your confidence in being a public speaker. I would suggest that you do 10 practices before you do the real presentation. And the reason for that is that you will be much more confident when you do, do the final presentation. If you don't have anyone to do the presentation in front of, I would advise you to film yourself. And once you've done the presentation, sit back and watch yourself with a critical eye to detail and the way you are delivering the presentation. Now, if you want to do a presentation that captivates the audience, Try and think of yourself as a storyteller. Even if you're presenting data as part of a board meeting, there will be a story to that data. And try and see if you can put that angle to it because your audience will appreciate your presentation much, much more. Many people suffer from performance anxiety. It's completely normal. And if this is a problem for you, I would really suggest that you contact me because I have over 20 years of experience of helping people overcome performance anxiety. I will do a longer video on this because it's a really big topic. So subscribe to my channel and then you can watch my video on performance anxiety. So on the day, first of all, be on time. There is nothing worse than being late when you have to deliver a presentation. And it also gives the impression that you're not a really professional person if you turn up late. So check, you know, flight times and trains and if there are any delays. And if you really want to be 100% sure that you're on time, you may want to arrive the day before the presentation if it's not nearby where you live. Of course, you need to save your presentation in multiple locations, whether that is on cloud or memory sticks, because something can always go wrong with IT. So make sure that you have that presentation ready in as many different formats as possible. And also make sure that all the material and handouts are ready before the presentation. If somebody else is printing that out for you, contact them with phone and emails and double check that it's okay. And make sure that you also bring some copies yourself for the day, just in case you end up having to do the photocopying. One of the problems that we sometimes have when we give presentations is that we become dehydrated. And that means that your brain will not function as optimal as it could. So make sure that you have some water with you. Drink a little bit before you go into the presentation. And don't be shy if you have a glass of water with you and drink from it during the presentation. You're going to feel a lot better. And remember to release tension in your body so that you can get your nerves out in case you are experiencing performance anxiety. If you can control your breathing, you can actually experience flow, which is an incredible state to be in when you do a presentation. I have a video on my channel that you can watch on breathing, and I would suggest you do that if you need to learn an effective and quick method of getting your breath under control. When you're on stage, the first thing you should do is breathe so that you release tension from your body. And as I just said before, check out my video on breathing 
so you can learn how to do that. Look at the audience in the entire room. So establish eye contact the minute you go up to do your presentation. And that means looking at people in the middle and to the right and to the left. You don't have to look at one particular person because that can become quite awkward. All you need to do is scan the audience every now and then so that they know that you are interested in them and that they feel that you are speaking to each individual of them. This is very, very important. Don't look away. Don't stand, look at your notes. Don't turn your back to the audience or your side looking at your slides. It's really important that you are focused on the audience in front of you and that you are facing them. You need to speak clearly and slowly while you move around on the stage. If you're not able to move around on the stage because you might be standing at a fixed point, then at least, as I said, move your eyes so you have contact with the audience. Don't be afraid to make pauses and don't be afraid of silence. Your audience need time to take in what you are saying. And even though they might know your topic really well, they may never have heard your presentation before. So give them time to absorb what you are saying. And then of course, thank your audience for coming and for listening to you. We would like to control everything when we do our presentations, but that is not always possible. So therefore expect that things may not turn out the way you had planned entirely and be ready to accept that. Simply let go. Don't shout at people. Don't tell people off. They're all there to help you. So take it easy and say to yourself, okay, if I can't do it exactly the way I planned, how can I do it and still get my key messages across? You need to leave time for question and answering because it's important that people who have been listening to you have an opportunity to ask you some questions that they may have been thinking about during your presentation. Now, sometimes you may get a question that you don't know the answer to. That's absolutely fine. Simply say, I'm not sure what the answer is to this question. And then find out if there's someone in the hall amongst the audience who maybe know the answer to this question. This is a really engaging way of working with an audience and people will respect you for it. Finally, and most importantly, enjoy. Enjoy that you've been invited to give a presentation. Enjoy that you did all the hard work in advance and enjoy that you finally are in front of your audience and can deliver your presentation because they are there because they really want to be there and they really want to hear what you have to say. If you think you need help with your presentation skills, please get in touch so I can help you. I would be delighted to do so. Thank you very much for watching and bye for now.